another Dokkan battle video, and today we are going to take our boy Pykun, the newest Dokkan Fest exclusive. Bit of a, bit of an odd one, <laughs> but we'll go ahead and take this bad boy into the movie hero stage of Category Super Battle Road. Now, my original intention was I was actually going to potentially use him as a, you know, piece to help me get this no item done, but... The, the new LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan was so overpowered, he was actually able to get it done. Um, now, PyCon is going to be able to link up fairly well with a lot of the strong players um, in movie heroes, right? Like Spirit Palms or Goku and stuff like that. Uh, PyCon, with his you know potential to greatly lower attack, he's got the one-turn seal. He does have several good abilities. He has a 50% chance to dodge. So, PyCon has a lot of ways he's going to be able to help the team out a lot, right? And another good thing about PyCon... Uh, well, damn it. One, one thing that sucks is we're not going to be able to get the three type orbs anywhere to give him the support type buff, which is very helpful, right? To give the whole rotation defense in Super Battle Road is really good. Let's get rid of you. Or, hmm, let me go for Turles, because we could greatly lower Turles' attack and sort of keep him a little bit in check for a while, right? Now, remember, Pycon gets four key from a rainbow orb, so it's very easy from the super attack. And then, you know, we know how easy it is for Spear Palm Reserve Goku to get these big time super attacks as well. So, Turles is going to be in check. Let's put you in check as well. So, both of them are going to be sealed. They're going to have their attacks lowered and shit like that. Um, I guess I'll just have Gogeta attack you as well. So, let's go ahead and see. Let's see how, how bad the damage can be right here. Now, Pycon. Okay, thanks. Py Pycon, 50% chance to dodge. Hello! Pycon does have that 50% chance to dodge, right? Now, funny enough, in this stage, I already took Pycon into Super AJL Extreme Super Battle Road. Over there, Pycon getting the unit super attack is whatever. Who cares? Here, though, because it's, you know, all different typing stuff like that, Pycon getting that unit super attack is going to really dramatically increase his value, right? He's going to be able to help you out a lot um, with all of the extra, uh, like, attack power, attack potency he's going to get. Um, being super effective against all types. So, you know, bringing like the LR, Goku, and Vegeta or something. Are you kidding me? I think we're alive, but yeah. Well, oh yeah, well, that sounds too bad. Um, I will use an item. We're going to use a Princess Sank right here. I'm going to go ahead and float off Goku and Vegeta for this turn. Now, one reason I, br I brought the 40% uh, movie support Gohan. The main reason I did that, by the way, uh, is because he does actually share cold judgment with uh PyCon. so between the movie uh hero support he gives and cold judgment with PyCon, it's gonna be a nice little one-two punch plus i believe that gohan um also lowers attack if i'm not mistaken which obviously you know PyCon's lowering attack as well well PyCon greatly lowers attack which is obviously super good but uh that gohan lowering attack is definitely going to be something that's going to help out quite a bit um, the Gohan is also going to be getting another 100% attack and defense against a movie boss category enemy. So it's going to work like God Goku, right? Where if we don't have, like, if we don't take out Turles quickly, which I did here, um, then Gohan is going to be looking really, really good, right? You know, getting a lot of stats, giving a lot of stats, and then also lowering attack as well. Because again, lowering attack is a very, very powerful ability for a Super Battle Road, for sure. Um, Okay. So, with multiple rainbow orb changers, honestly, we probably have too much orb changing. Uh, with Spirit Bomb Goku, we'll have experienced fighters as well, but that's not as important as the extra defense, I would say. Um, I could do this. Yeah, that's perfect, because that's three. Here, let me actually get rid of you. Yep, we'll do that. Uh, so, that's three type key spheres, so we're going to be able to activate the uh, support type buff to the whole rotation, which helps out a lot. Um, we'll attack you as well, and then Spirit Bomb Goku will definitely be able to eradicate this boy right here uh, in one blow. So, pretty good. I, I would say PyCon is working pretty good. Um, again, the big difference between PyCon and Janemba to me, I've narrowed it down very easily to... That's where the super effective against all types would have helped out a lot right there, by the way. But uh, PyCon getting basically an auto super attack with one rainbow orb is really powerful. And Janemba doesn't do that, and that hurts him badly. Um, <clears throat> if Janemba had that ability, it, again, it, it would just it would help out quite a bit. <laughs> it really would. Uh, but instead, they gave him two rainbow orbs, and he gets the damage reduction. Nice, Goku. Very good, very good. So now you're done, and we're on to the next fight. So pretty good. Like like honestly, we're off to a pretty good start with Pycon. I think he looks pretty impressive in these stages. Um, no doubt about that. I, I I like what we see from Pycon. I really do think he's able to contribute quite a bit. I'm gonna use the Nurse Chichi right here. 
Um, I guess we'll just go for this dude right here. Again, I would like to keep Lord Slug around for a little while. Because that's going to make, like, God Goku and... What's his name a little bit better? God Goku and who? This Gohan are going to be better with the actual movie boss category enemy around, right? Uh, I'll, I'll have that Gohan go ahead and attack Lord Slug because because of the fact that I want Lord Slug to sort of stick around, um, I'll make sure to lower his attack so he's not going to be as potent in blasting us, right? But, you know, I, the one thing I'm looking at now with how PyCon is performing here, how Janemba will undoubtedly perform. Again, I'm not going to do the Janemba uh, difficult content videos until I get him to Big Bad Bosses level 10. Currently, at the time I'm recording this, my Janemba has Link level 9 Big Bad Bosses, so certainly within the next week I'll be able to get it done. Um, what's funny is, of the two units, PyCon and Janemba, Janemba has Big Bad Bosses level 9, and like, I, I, like between PyCon and Janemba, they're, they're, like, they have like one other Link that's even level 8. So the Link that's been growing rapidly for me is Big Bad Bosses on Janemba, which again is literally the most important one, right? Um, just the way I think PyCon is performing so well in here, though, I really do think we're going to see similar results from Janemba. I think Janemba in Super Battle Road is going to be insane, and that is just exactly where, the, like, the, de the devs were intending you to use him, right? Hmm. Okay. So, let's see. That's experienced fighters right there. This could be bad we did lower slug we did lower slugs attack which is good but this could be very very bad i guess i'm gonna go for we have super effective against all types right here so i think i'm actually just gonna hit slug just to show it off yeah uh, j just just to show off what he's capable of doing i'm gonna go ahead and seal you um and then actually we'll just kill him whatever Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we're going to do right here. Dodge, dodge, dodge. My boy, I need you dodging. <clears throat> okay. PyCon, please. I'm, I'm on my knees begging, PyCon. Okay. That's fine. He dodged the one that mattered. You could dodge this too, PyCon. Yup. Mm-hmm. Oh! PyCon, you're going to dodge this too. Watch this. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Look at that boy go. He's good. That boy is good. Now, obviously, we easily could have gotten triple supered and died right there. But, um, that boy PyCon is pretty good. <laughs> that boy is good. I like, I'm liking PyCon, man. I, I do. I really do. That that's solid. That's solid. Again, the dodging, it is a coin flip, but 50% is something I found to be a reasonable chance to get that done, right? So, it's not, oh, wow, you really survived with a cock hair of health, didn't you? Yeah, be gone. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um... So he, so Slug already got his attack greatly lowered last turn. Um, let's go ahead and lower his attack and seal him right here. I don't think we have anything to worry about. And then we'll just go ahead and bully Slug. We should actually be able to finish Slug off on this turn, I think. Uh, but I messed up with orbs, huh? That's fine. Uh, Slug should still be taken care of. I'm not really too nervous about Spirit Bomb Goku taking this shot right here. Any attack Slug can do. Because he's had his attack lowered by quite a few different units right so we should be good right here even a slug survives which he did yep double digits and he sealed so um movie heroes has definitely got some good options uh our boy pycon fits in uh, pycon works well i mean because you have like ridiculously powerful rainbow orb changers on movie hero right like you have you know goten is good he's not ridiculously powerful but he's good um spirit bomb is goku he's ridiculously powerful right um and then we also have uh who's the other one uh, God Goku, God Goku, who is, you know, really good in certain situations, who's creating these orbs as well. So, especially with a rainbow orb changer, PyCon is looking great. The only thing is we do need three type orbs, which we cannot do. So, we're not going to get the support type buff right here. Um, we're not going to get the super effective against all types either. But it is still, I, I think it's important to get Slug out of here first. Um, so, we'll focus on that. I could have put the movie hero support gohan in the second slot actually i probably should have done that uh because then we would have activated cold judgment for pycon for the extra defense but i mean our this boy pycon is dodging like crazy anyway so who cares yeah 2.4 i mean i would like to see him hit higher numbers because i mean we do have a 40 percent support type unit on rotation i mean pycon only has fierce battle active so it's not like we have a ton of his great links active or anything like that but still, you know, you would like to see a little bit better from him damage-wise. But 
when it comes to him lowering attack, the dodging. Oh, actually, if we don't... If we don't kill this dude right here, Pycon does have that Ghost Sesher effect as well. Um, I mean, it's going to be... We're not going to get it off, but... Because, it, yeah, it, it's just... It's so uber rare to get that. Um, for, so, in order for Pycon to use his Ghost Sesher, um, it has to be turn four or later. Uh, one enemy who's above 50% HP. Uh, like, even if we get... Like, f somehow... I mean, Spirit Bomb Goku's gonna kill him right here, but if somehow that enemy would survive, he'd be below 50% HP, so we couldn't use the Ghost Usher. And then, of course, there's a turn restriction. Like, it's just... PyCon's Ghost Usher is not meant for Super Battle Road. Uh, clearly, that is an extra feather in PyCon's cap for long, difficult events, like the Legendary Goku event or Infinite Dragon Ball History. Um, that's obviously more so what they had in mind. Oh, this is beautiful. See, this is where PyCon can really spread his wings, too. Um, we put him in slot one. We'll hit Bojack, right? So Bojack is now sealed for the turn. And he's got his attack greatly lowered. Significantly nerfing him, which is so, so helpful. Um, and then we'll go ahead and seal you as well. Um, and then I guess we'll just attack Goku or whatever. So pretty good. Um, PyCon definitely gets a very big passing grade. I think he, he's a strong unit capable of helping out in a lot of different ways and you know especially on movie heroes with all the other like rainbow orb changes and stuff like that i mean he only needs one rainbow orb in order to be able to super attack and you know there's going to be rainbow orbs everywhere and then with rainbow orbs it's also easier for him to activate that support type buff of his which i mean i still wish that was for free but at least it's not four orbs the way janemba has janemba with a four orb support type buff is no bueno that is not good not good but um <clears throat> PyCon with three is definitely just the eensy teensy little bit better, right? So, um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of our boy PyCon. I mean, I would say from these two different stages we've taken him into in Super Battle Road, I, I feel like he's been fairly good. Um, I do think PyCon will be able to help out quite a bit. Oh, Gogeta dodging like crazy today, too. Oof, even with his attack rate lowered, Gogeta took a lot of damage right there. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of PyCon. I thought he performed great here as well. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.